Character formatting. When we're in an mtex and we're in the text uh, editor, we have a panel called formatting. In this character formatting, I can bold things, I can put things in italics, I can strike out things, I can underline things, I can overline them. So I have to select various texts and I can bold it. I could select the text and say uh, make it italics. Uh, I can select the text and say that there is underline, etc. So uh, I can strike it out. A strike goes when it puts a line right through, right, right through the text. Uh, so we have a variety of, of formatting things that we can use. I can also highlight a word and I can go up and I can change uh, I can come through here and I can change the color of the text so I can say I want it to be red so this might be AutoCAD 1 um, we usually want to go with having the whole text being following the the text style but this is when we're overriding a particular value of the textiles when we're doing these types of things. Also, I can right click and I can set it to all caps. And that's uh, make sure all our text is capitalized. I can also auto correct uh, my cap lock. So if I have my cap locks on and I type in the word note, and so I do a shift and then I type in no note and I get a lowercase n or in this case caps lowercase c and then capital 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 it'll automatically switch that around so that the first letter is capitalized and the other three letters are lowercase and it's on by default uh, we can also go down into our extended menu Oops. Uh, I'll go back in if I go down to formatting panel and I hit the extended menu down here I have an obliquing angle so in the obliquing angle I can tilt the particular text so I can come down to 3D modeling and I come into here and say oh I want to go with a 22 degree so that's then inclined with an obliquing angle I can also change the tracking of something so in the tracking I can come over here and highlight this hit the down arrow and in the tracking this increases or decreases the amount of spacing in between our letters so in between the letters itself not the whole word or the or the words this is in between the letters we can change it so we want to go down to say 0.75 you'll find that this gets very tight the letters are squished together when I go down to my tracking and change it to say 2 it'll be very stretched out with the letter the spacing in between the letters this is tracking so the default value is 1 alright so we have a variety of formatting and these formatting tools are used um, essentially when we're trying to override a particular word and uh, these are called character formatting. So this panel is used for character formatting in MTEX objects.